All right, Catherine. Hello? How are you? I'm fine, Chef Jeffrey. How are you? And thank you for being with Living the Gourmet. This is such a treat for me. Oh, my well, pleasure. Well, you're here to help us celebrate National Chili Month, which is October, and you're going to help us give us some t twists and tips for how to kick up our chili and make it more exciting. Exactly. Oh, thank you for being here. Well, why, why is chili such a popular meal and why October? You know, I think chili is popular because it's that classic one-pot dish. You know, everybody likes the simplicity of a one-pot dish, but it's also kind of as the weather changes, it's getting a little cooler, it warms your body and soul. You know, so it's something that's easy, it's delicious, and it's completely customizable. And that's what makes chili so great, and I think that's why people love it so much. Oh, I think so, too. And, and it's a fun meal. It, it really is, because, you know, you, you all sit down, you have your... Um, cornbread or whatever bread you like to have with it and a salad and you're set to go. Yeah, I think you nailed it. Fun is exactly the word. I love that you chose that because especially with the kids, you know, growing up, it was they want to customize it. They want to put on their toppings. It's like the chili, the base can be delicious. There's probably as many variations as there are people, but the toppings is what lets everybody make it their meal and the way they want it. Oh, exactly. Some avocado, some salsa, uh, uh, sour cream. And, and there you go. Exactly. I mean, we can't name a topping that isn't going to be good. I love to roast some chilies. You know, you blacken some chilies, peel them or not, leave a little bit of that char in there and stir those in on top. Even with the sour creams, you know, you can add some paprika or a little bit of rosemary, anything that complements the theme of the chili you're doing. And, and also, chili seems to be associated with Halloween. And I never even really knew that. But I would always love to make a big pot of chili and then take the kids trick-or-treating and you come back and you have this spicy hot meal. It yeah. just goes with, that, with, with the day. Yeah, we must live in the same neighborhood. That's exactly what we used to do, except <laughs> we would, of course, do it for the, for the parents. The kids are out eating you know, chocolate. We're all sitting there and answering the door in between and having the chili. It stays warm. Leave it on low heat. It is the perfect meal for Halloween. And here's a little Halloween twist for you, if that's what you're going to do. Get some butternut squash, cube it roast it, maybe toss in a little bit of sage, olive oil, and then stir that in. And even if you're doing a white chili, we have a great white chili chicken here or a kidney bean chili, add some black beans as well. So now you're gonna get that great Halloween color of the black and the orange and it's gonna be delicious, creamy orange, textures. Right. And what are some of the pantry staples that people can have on hand to, to whip up some chili? Yeah, that's the best question because that pantry is, is where the flavor begins. I like to have a huge variety of beans because color and texture affect the resulting chili. So have pinto beans, have black beans, even have garbanzos. Like I'll toast some garbanzo beans with a little feta cheese and mint and put those over the top of a white chili, really good, or even a Mediterranean style chili. You wanna think about the base. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna do tomato? Have a nice tomato puree on hand. I love palmi or San Marzano, some clean, sweet, naturally beautiful tomato puree. Have um, some kind of broth. You know, you like veggie broth, you like beef broth, you like chicken broth, whatever it is. If you have all of them, then you have even more versatility. And then have lots of spices, because spices last and they add great flavor. You know, if you're in the mood for a Mexican chili, you're gonna throw some cumin seed and coriander into that, you know, simmering uh, a pork or beef, whatever you have going on. So if you want something more Mediterranean or Italian, maybe you're gonna have some dried thyme or rosemary. So if you've got all that and your beans, a ladle in a pot, you're ready to go. And that's nice that you mentioned the spice mix, because if you don't have the packet on hand, People can re know that they can make up their own spices. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. If you go to bushbeans.com, a lot of the recipes and tips are great. And one of them is using literally the taco seasoning packet that I know my mom relied on when I grew up. And you mix that into the chili and you get instant flavor. Or these chili beans are great because the beans are actually simmered in a chili sauce. So the second you pop that top, you're already halfway to delicious because it's already in there. And then you just kind of add on, you know, make it the way you want to make it. And I like that you said about adding the squash. You could do it with pumpkin. You could, you know, make any of a, a vegetarian chili or a meat chili, whatever you like. Absolutely. So, or you could even roast. Maybe we take, you know, a squash or a pumpkin, cut the top off, cut it in half, scoop them out and roast them in the oven with a little olive oil until they're creamy and soft and then serve the chili right inside there. Oh, that's a... Oh, that's a great idea for Halloween yeah. or Thanksgiving even. Yeah, yeah. Thanksgiving that's would be fantastic. That sounds like a lot of fun. 
So where can people go to get more inspiration? Yeah, go to bushbeans.com and you will be inspired. Whether you're a chili expert or somebody that's just starting to dabble, there's incredible recipes there. I've partnered up with these guys to make things delicious. Oh, Chef Sad, thank you so much for being with Living the Gourmet and, and for, you know, coming on and telling us more about the, the, the bushbean.com and the chili recipes. I know that everyone will love seeing and going to the site and learning more. But it was fun. Thank, thank you, you so you bet. much. Have a great season. Take care. Thank you. You have a great season and happy Halloween, Thanksgiving, and, and all. Thank, thank you. you so much.